We will now be going through how to take photos of the worksheets using Cam Scanner. After you have downloaded Cam Scanner, let us open the application. If it is your first time using Cam Scanner, they may prompt you for access to your camera on your phone. You will have to allow for them to take photos using your camera. So let us click the camera icon. You will need to set it to batch instead of single. By default, it is usually single. Single means that you can only take one page and then it will convert it. If you have more than one page, you will need to use batch. So for example, this worksheet has four pages, so I will need to select batch so that it will compile all four pages into one PDF document. When taking the photo, you need to make sure that all four corners of the paper is within the camera. Once it is, press the camera button and wait for it to snap a picture. On the bottom right, you will see that one page has been taken, so I will flip it over to page 2. I will try my best to make sure that there's no parts sticking out the edges of this paper. And then, again, take a picture. So that is page 2. Page 3. And page 4. So now that we have finished taking the photo, we will click on the picture at the bottom for it to bring up this screen. So there are four dots and as you can see for page 4, I will have to adjust the four corners to make sure that it is on the edge of the A4 paper. So it will be something like this. I will need to swipe right, sorry, I will need to swipe left to look at page 3 and once again I need to adjust it. Page 2 looks okay. Page 1 needs some adjustment. And once all four pages are okay, I will click the tick button on the bottom right. So it will adjust the pages. And instead of new document, I want to rename this to the file name that I will need to send later. So I will click the icon at the end of the new document and it will bring me to this page. So we are going to name it homework. The level and subject. So this is primary 5, so I will use P5, English, A for Achiever, HA if it's High Achiever. Put a dot and then we will do the day and time of the class. So for example, this class is on Saturday 9am. So let me space uh, day and time, put another dot,
sorry, change it to an underscore and then the name of the child. So my child's name is Felicia Ku. Once I'm done, I click done. And what I realized is that I forgot to add the center. So I will need to click on that button again. After the word homework, I was supposed to put down the center that the child is in. So if it's Bishan, so I'll write Bishan. If it is in Pongo, then I'll have to write Pongo. So now that everything is correct, I can click email. So by clicking the email icon, I will be sending this out if my mobile phone is linked to an email. You can choose to email yourself and then uh, compile a few PDFs if let's say there is more than one worksheet or if there's only one worksheet, you can send it direct. So when you click email, you have to then select PDF. There is no need to remove the cam scanner watermark, you can leave it in there. And then click send. It will generate the PDF. Send it to your teacher's email. And with that, I have come to the end of this video. Thank you.